Good morning. Welcome to Kila Chari Torah's daily review of Halakha, Jewish law, for Thursday, the 8th of September. Uh, Kitzah Shochan Aruch tells us that after the Mincha service on the first day of Rosh Hashanah, or the second day of the first day of Shabbos, you should go to a river or stream to recall the merit of the Akedah, the binding of Yitzhak, which we're going to read on the second day, uh, because the Midrash relates that when Avram Avinu went to the Akedah with his son Yitzchak, Satan transformed himself into a river to try to block their way. But Avram Avinu, Allah HaShalom, walked into the river up until uh, the water reached his neck and said, Deliver me, O God, for the waters have reached up to my soul, quoting from Psalm 69. There's another reason for this custom. On this day we proclaim the kingship of the Holy One, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, blessed be He, over us. And it was the custom to anoint kings near a riverbank as a sign that their kingdom may endure without end. It's preferable that the river should be outside the city limits and should contain fish as a reminder that we are compared to living fish who are caught in a net. We too are caught in a net of judgment and as a result will be inclined to think more of teshuva, of repenting. Another reason is to symbolize that the evil eye should have no power over us just as it has no power over fish and that we may, may, that may, we, that we may be fruitful and multiply as the fish. Others say the reason is the fish has no eyelids and their eyes are always open. Their purpose is to arouse the compassion of the all-seeing eye that is above us. But if there's no river that contains fish, you can go to any river, to a well, uh, somewhere where there's water, and you, could, you should say the verses, Mi Kel Kamaycha, as is written in the prayer books. For the order of Tashlich, it says then to shake out the corners of your clothing, symbolizing your resolve to cast away your sins, and examine and scrutinize your ways from now on so that your clothes will be right, white and innocent of all sin. And as we said, if the first day of Rosh Hashanah Shabbos, you do this all on the second day. This is the custom of Tashlich. You know that many people have a custom to take uh, crumbs uh, with them to throw into the water, to hopefully not to feed the fish, because we don't do that on Yom Tif, but to uh, uh, concretize their casting away, their abandonment of sin, which is a very important part of the 10 days of Tshuva. Okay, we'll leave it for there today.